When Mount Vesuvius erupted almost 2,000 years ago, it buried cities like Pompeii. But something unexpected survived Papyrus scrolls from the library of a villa in Herculaneum. All attempts to unroll the delicate and ancient paper have proven destructive. An NSF-supported research team led by the University of Kentucky has developed a process for recovering these ancient manuscripts without unrolling a single scroll. Find out how and what it said on NSF Science now. Almost 2,000 years ago, Roman cities, including Pompeii and Herculaneum, were destroyed when Mount Vesuvius erupted, burning and carbonizing everything. But amid the devastation, something unexpected survived, the Herculaneum Scrolls. This collection of papyrus manuscripts was buried in the library of a villa in Herculaneum until its discovery in 1750. The scrolls and villa might have belonged to a Roman statesman, possibly the father-in-law of Julius Caesar. I think that these manuscripts are incredibly important in the context of our humanity because this is an era in human history for which we have very little knowledge and information. I mean, I think maybe 95%, some people have estimated, of the written material from the ancient world is now lost. We have a, a chance here to bring some of that back from the brink and maybe even conduct new excavations of a complete library. Over 250 years of attempts to unroll and read these scrolls have proven destructive. People would try to read these physically by unrolling them physically, uh, which makes them fall apart. So now we're in this era of modern non-invasive imaging, we're able to start looking inside these objects without damaging them. An NSF-supported research team led by the University of Kentucky has developed a process for recovering these ancient manuscripts without unrolling a single scroll. Virtual Unwrapping was born from a vision that I had where we might be able to explore the interior of something without having to actually physically open it. How to do that was really a software problem. Once you take an image that goes all the way through the middle of something like an x-ray and the virtual unwrapping concept came from the software that would allow you to take that scan, that x-ray that goes all the way through and look at it and unwrap it and unfold it without ever having to do that to the real object. An AI program identified each tiny spot in the micro CT scan where the ink is present. Letters are revealed by coloring in all of those ink spots. With six scrolls to decipher, the UK team in partnership with Edu's lab and the Library of the Institut de France decided they needed help and established the Vesuvius Challenge, a global competition. The Vesuvius Challenge is a research contest that we launched earlier this year in partnership with Nat Friedman and Daniel Gross and now many other sponsors to bring the world into this research problem. So we released some CT scans of scrolls online and people around the world have downloaded them. They've helped us extend our methods. And now via the contest, we're starting to see text. Before the contest, Stephen discovered the first two letters and the ancient script is slowly revealing itself to the world for the first time since more than 2,000 years ago. So it started small, we had individual characters. The first two characters resemble the letters H and I, so it looks like it says hi, which I thought was fun when we made that discovery. And then now we have complete words and are now building passages. So we have words like purple was the first complete word. We have other words like music. Um, so we're starting to build ideas about what this text could be, and it's, it's very exciting. The Vesuvius Challenge will award a grand prize of $700,000 to the first team to read four passages of text from the inner layers of the scrolls. Stay tuned for more in the coming months as the competition unravels further writings from this ancient world.